Hi, my name's Ebony, and today I am going to be reading a modern twist on a classic fairy tale. So please sit back and enjoy whilst I read Goldilocks and the Three Queens. Once upon a time, there was a child called Goldilocks. They were very bored, so they went for a walk around Doncaster to see what they could find. They found a big building called the library, with colourful rainbow flags hanging outside, so they pushed the door and went inside. They were shocked to see there were no books, just a sparkly door with a big gold star on, so they pushed the door and they went inside. Inside there were three tables, with mirrors and lights all around them. Wow! They thought. Each table had one lipstick on. They wandered up and picked up the first lipstick. It was as black as night. Oh no! Said Goldilocks. This is far too dark. They picked up the next lipstick. It was bright red and very glittery, but looked old and used. Oh no, said Goldilocks. This lipstick is dry and gross. The third lipstick was a beautiful nude colour in stunning gold packaging. Oh yes, shouted Goldilocks. This is perfect. Goldilocks began to smear the lipstick on their lips, blowing kisses into the mirror. This suits me perfectly. Next to the tables, Goldilocks noticed some shelves, and on the shelves were funny little heads all wearing different hairstyles. On the first head, there was a beautiful finger wave wig, just like what the movie stars wear. They popped it on for a closer look. Oh no, Goldilocks exclaimed. This is far too feminine for me. They picked up the next wig, a classic blonde beehive. Oh no, they said. This makes me feel like my nana. The next wig was a black spiky mullet. Oh yes, Goldilocks yelled. This makes me feel hella confident. Goldilocks' attention was drawn to the bottom shelf, where there were three pairs of heels. The first pair were gorgeous stilettos covered in silver rhinestones. They slid their feet in and tried to do a dance. Oh no, I can barely stand in these, Goldilocks cried. The second pair were sky-high platform trainers that looked like they landed from outer space. Oh no, Goldilocks said. These are too heavy. The last pair were the cutest kitten heels. Oh yes, Goldilocks shouted. I can dance and jump in these. Goldilocks began to sing and dance, losing themselves in their brand new look. Who are you? A deep voice bellowed from behind them. And why are you wearing our stuff? Three giant drag queens towered over Goldilocks, looking very confused and disgruntled. They're my shoes, shouted one. And that's my wig, shouted another. And none of it goes together, they all exclaimed together. Goldilocks looked up at them with big apologetic eyes and said, but, but I love it and that's all that matters. The queens looked at each other and started to smile. They have a point, one queen said. All drag is valid. The queens invited Goldilocks to dance with them in their show that afternoon and lived happily ever after. The end.